next we will discuss the different types of stress based on the direction of applied force and the result of the applied force the stress has classified into different ways the main important one is the first one is longitudinal stress what is the longitudinal stress suppose if a stress is applied if there is a change in the length of the body that stress is called longitudinal stress means if a stress is able to change the length of the body or wire then the stress is longitudinal so this longitudinal stress which gives the change or deformation in the length of the body this is the first type best example take a body which is fixed at one end and second end if you apply the force to expand it or if a metal wire which is freely hanged on the second end if you apply the load continuously like this if you are keeping the weights on adding there may be a possibility in the expansion of the wire so the expansion will takes place means only length of the body is changing so that's why this is called longitudinal stress the second stress is normal stress so what is the meaning of normal stress if a stress is applied on the body in normal direction means exactly tangent that is called normal stress if a stress is applied in a normal direction or a direction of normal is called normal stress if you want to see, visualize the concept of the normal stress let us take a cube type material this is a cube type material and on this cube if you apply the force perpendicularly on any face like this or like this or like this or like this not four at or at a time any one corner any one face this type of stress the body experience on the application of force is called normal stress the third type of stress is tensile stress yeah the meaning of the tensile means almost like a tension so what is the meaning of tensional force to equal amount of forces which are moved to opposite direction that will create a tensional force in the body that means if a stress applied on the body creates a tensional force in it that stress is called tensile stress if you want to visualize the concept you can visualize like this this is a body of uniform shape and finite dimensions this is one force this is another force means if a body if we want to try to expand a body in opposite directions in the middle of the body it creates a tension or you can fix one end you can apply the force in the another end that is also creates the tension 
so fixing at one end applying the force at another end this is the fixed so what we can understand if a stress creates the tensile force in a body that stress is called tensile stress The examples for the tensile stress is a body which is fixed at one end and force applied on another end or if a body was applied in between the two opposite and equal forces those are the examples for the tensile stress. The fourth one which is exactly opposite to the tensile stress is compressive stress. Tensile strength can be created in the expansion of the body. Compressive stress can be created to compress the body from other ends. That means if this is the body, force is applied on face to face like this. Therefore, you can say the compression of the body will take place. That means like this. this compression may take place. That means if a stress creates the compression in a body, that stress is called compressive stress. This compressive stress is exactly opposite in direction of the tensile stress. The next type of stress is volume stress or bulk stress. This is the fifth category. So what is volume stress or bulk stress? Suppose if a normal force applied on the body or normal stress applied on the body, if it can change the volume of the body, that stress is called volume stress. If a normal force or normal stress can change the volume of the body, The stress is called volume stress. Last one in the different types of stress is shearing stress. Or tangential stress so what is shearing stress let us take a cube type of body In this type of body, two parallel forces are applied on opposite faces, which are in opposite direction. That means one force is applied like this, one force is applied like this. Or one force is applied like this, one force is applied like this. Try to assume a sponge in between these two hands. Suppose if I want to simply make a diagonal of that, I will apply one force in one direction, this will be in another direction. That means, if this is the original state of the body, this body will change like this. Like this. So, the faces 
simply changes some angular displacement. This type of stress is called shearing stress or tangential stress. That means if a force applied or st stress applied tangentially on opposite faces with two parallel forces is called shearing stress. The force or parallel forces applied on opposite faces of a body is called shearing stress or tangential stress. So there are six types of stress and these six types of stress are able to are useful to possibly find out the elastic moduli in different cases. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.